Now, for the last three seasons in Apex, we've done a Legends tier list, ranking all the Legends from best to worst, and we're doing it again here in Season 5. Let's get right into the video. Welcome back guys to another apex legends video i'm warlug and today we are ranking my tier list from the legends best to worst okay now the meta has changed drastically throughout season three and four and now with the addition of another legend the entire meta has changed completely now to help break down the list guys i figured i'd add some elements to the ranking system to help understand why i rank them this way so the legends are going to be evaluated by the following three criteria First is legend kits. This is the advantages and disadvantages garnered from abilities each legend, each legend has and the legend's hitbox. The next up is team compatibility. How well a legend's abilities synergize with other legend's skills, also while supporting their teammates' survival and success. Last and certainly not least is map adaptability. Okay, World's Edge is a far cry from King's Canyon. Now, while some, some legends adapt easily to the change, others struggled. And now that we have King's Canyon back on a huge rotation, guys, these legends are going to be scrutinized even more when it comes to map adaptability. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the list, guys. Now, coming in at the S tier, that's right. You guys guessed it. It is Wraith. Wraith, the poster girl for Respawn's Battle Royale, still fares better than most legends in Season 5. Her hitbox remains the smallest in the game, and if that didn't make her hard enough to hit, her tactical ability into the void gives her invulnerability and a slight movement speed buff. Wraith's ultimate ability, the Dimensional Rift, lets you create two portals that are linked, allowing any player to pass through. This can help set up a beautifully designed flank, cover ground quicker, and escape sticky situations by repositioning your entire team. Since the release of Apex Legends, Wraith remains to be the most used and most popular legend and in high tier competitive play. Next up is Apex's big man, Gibby, also in the S tier. He's been getting some serious love from Respawn. Players inside the Dome Shield now use healing items 25% faster. Then the Grand Serie patch gave him another advantage in him, allowing him to revive squad mates faster when inside the Dome Shield. And if you pair that with his Fortified buff, which makes him take less damage from incoming attacks, Gibby can do it all. His ultimate ability, Defensive Bombardment, does severe missile damage in the AoE, but does also damage your teammates and yourself. And even though Gibby's hitbox is the biggest in the game, he still remains one of the best legends since the Season 3 buff. Now, moving down to the A tier, we have the newest legend on the roster, Loba. She has become an immediate fan favorite, and perhaps Respawn learning from their mistake that they made with Revenant, Loba's abilities have made an instant impact, and even pushed Lifeline out of my A tier list, out of the A spot. This is mainly because Loba's ultimate ability, Black Market Boutique, is pretty much a better version of Lifeline's care package. Sure, the care package still has its advantages, but then Lifeline's other abilities aren't as strong. Loba's tactical ability literally allows her to teleport around the map in a move possibly even more powerful than Wraith's phase shift and Pathfinder's grapple. Also, the ability to see high-level loot through walls almost feels like cheating. Next in the A-list is Pathfinder. Pathfinder drops all the way down to A tier from S tier with this update. It's a harsh drop, and it's all the way down to one change in his grapple ability. Everyone's favorite robot remains a top-tier play in Season 5 simply because of his mobility, being able to zip line on top of high skyscrapers and mountains across World's Edge and King's Canyon makes him a viable option in any team. But the tactical ability grapple can be used to make a quick escape and push up onto a weak opponent before they get a chance to heal. But with the update in Season 5, with a whopping 35 second cooldown, most players would rather opt out for Wraith or now Loba to make those quick escapes. Next up, jumping up a spot from the B tier to the A tier is Watson. The greatest engineer in Watson shook up the meta in Season 2 and in Season 3 and 4, guys, with her defensive prowess making her a must-pick in competitive and high-level play. Her ultimate ability, Interception Pylon, places an electric pylon that slowly recharges teammate shields and destroys any grenades thrown or missiles called in the vicinity. This is a great defensive ultimate that protects and supports teammates. With that said, Watson remains a consistent pick in competitive play. Now moving down to the B tier guys, as much as I don't want to pick favorites or pick sides, 
my, one of my favorite legends in the game, Bang. The Sergeant Captain, General Bangalore, is probably one of the most well-rounded legends in the game. Her kit is easy to use and provides utility for the team and gives her a good escape mechanic. Bangalore's passive double time gives her a 30% speed boost when she's being shot at, making her nearly impossible to hit. Her smoke launcher provides cover for herself and teammates, being perfect for situations like being caught out in the open, having, a re having to revive a downed ally, or wanting to loot without having your head blown off. The professional soldier works well in World's Edge as well as King's Canyon through her ultimate ability, Rolling Thunder. It's a bit underwhelming, that's true, and a good zoning tool to quickly readjust your position and tactics in a pinch. Next up in the B tier, guys, is Caustic. The diabolical scientist Caustic, the toxic trapper tactical ability, knocks Gas Trap, allows you to place up to six canisters that release gas when they're shot or triggered by the enemy. And Caustic's ultimate ability, Nox Gas Grenade, lets you cover an entire area with his toxic gas. And now that the ability no longer impairs your own teammate's movement, which is crazy to even think about, it still makes him a viable option in competitive play and even in pubs. Caustic's abilities are also very situational. He can do very little when he's caught out in the open. And on the new map, World's Edge, and now the readjusted maps, King Canyon, he's often forced to fight inside of buildings and in choke points. Next up, moving up, guys. I know you Bloodhound fanatics are going to love this, but Bloodhound is now in the B tier. Apex's longtime hunter, Bloodhound, makes it up a spot for all you Bloodhound lovers out there. Respawn gave her a couple of necessary buffs in Season 3 and Season 4, improving her ultimate ability immensely. Her tactical ability, Eye of the Allfather, is finally where it needs to be, briefly revealing enemies, traps, and clues through any structure for a longer this time, up to three full seconds. Bloodhound's passive, which allows the legend to see enemy activity, still isn't anywhere where other legends can provide for the team, but it's still an okay ability. And not having any way to escape or reposition in a large map makes Bloodhound a difficult legend to master. Now, last in the B list, the B tier, is Lifeline. Apex's lovable healer, she's a well-rounded, balanced legend who heals quicker than other characters and provides support and a care package. Lifeline's passive combat medic is hands down one of the best in the game. She can revive knockdown teammates faster while being pr protected by an impenetrable tool shield, and she uses all healing items 25% faster than other legends. A large map for someone who isn't mobile can be devastating, which means Lifeline has to depend more on teammates like Pathfinder, Wraith, or now Loba to get her into a better position. Lifeline took a huge hit this season, guys, with Loba being released and the continued buff to the big man gibby so lifeline has suffered she's moved down the list to the middle of the pack now moving on to the c tier octane the speedster octane is a great for aggressive play his tactical ability stim gives him a 30 percent movement speed buff over six seconds this is perfect for running away from shots or diving into the fray to take out unsuspected victims his launch pad ultimate helps him reposition himself and teammates but can be hard to use effectively Octane does not have some clear disadvantages. He doesn't provide as much for his teammates as other legends like Pathfinder and Wraith. His abilities are also loud and can make it virtually impossible to sneak up on anybody. The legend is pretty one dimensional, so you're either running in at top speed or you're running out of there. All right, next up, and I know a lot of people love this legend with his rework, is Mirage. Mirage is the master of deception in Apex. His tactical ability, Psych Out, allows you to call in a holographic decoy, which you can now control. And he did get a bet—he did get a bigger buff this season in Season 5 uh, with his ultimate ability, Vanishing Act, making him go completely invisible after summoning a team of decoys that also mimic what he's doing. The biggest advantage to his kit so far is his passive ability, allowing him to go completely invisible to respawn or revive a downed teammate is the only support that he actually has. But his kit can only go so far. It provides virtually nothing for your team in terms of synergy, and his decoy is fairly easy to figure out. Next up is Crypto. The tech genius himself, Crypto. His surveillance drone provides his squad with the intel needed for such a large map in World's Edge and now the changes to King's Canyon. It also picks up ally banners and opens doors, making it extremely versatile. The drone EMP is a devastating when pushing a team in an open field, breaking shields and slowing enemies. Compared to the legends like Gibby, Caustic, Crypto's hitbox is fairly small. 
He, he, though he does lack mobility, the hacker can make things work with his pesky drone. Overall, since the release of Crypto, he started off really hot. They made some changes to his, uh, his drone, but overall, Crypto has remained at the bottom of the pack for a while now, since his release. Last in the list, guys, in the D tier. I'm sorry to put him here. It was a close one between Crypto and Revenant, but Revenant takes up the last spot so far this season. The Psycho Assassin Revenant, his kit is definitely interesting. Spawning a death totem that allows your squad to respawn back in when taken out. The Killer Robot's tactical ability is a grenade that silences and disables enemies for about 10 seconds. Now, if this radius or time on the silence was increased, which it has with this season update, it got buffed, then it'd probably make it a little bit better I and mean, he'd be a little bit higher in the pack, but he's still not. His stalker ability is probably one of the more useful passives. He can crouch walk extremely fast and he can scale buildings higher than most of the opponents, which gives him an advantage in World's Edge, but not so much on King's Canyon. But Pathfinder still remains the best robot in the Apex Games title due to his superior mobility and team synergy. Alright guys, that does it for my Season 5 Apex Legends tier list. We got our handy tool, Tier Maker, over here. It's a great tool that we use for all of these videos. Just to recap, we got in the S tier, Wraith and Gibby. The A tier is Loba, Pathfinder, and Watson. The B tier is Bang, Caustic, Bloodhound, and Lifeline. The C tier is Octane, Mirage, and Crypto. And then last but not least is the our all-favorite assassin, Revenant. Now this is my tier guys, tier list guys. So just based on that criteria, in my opinion, and where the, the kind of meta is for this, these are where these legends are ranked. Let me know down in the chat where you guys think who is on top of your tier list for season five so far. As the season progresses, the meta is gonna change. So these legend spots are gonna change just a little bit, but let me know who is still on top in your list, okay guys? But that's gonna do it for me. If you did enjoy this video, drop that like. It does help the channel out a lot. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button turn on post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future apex legend videos like this and as for me warlock as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace